Hello YouTube, this is Marauders here and well, I guess it was bound to happen eventually. I just got pranked on based on my from my other YouTube channel by someone who tried to offer me a sweet deal on some nerf blasters. Hmm. Yeah, I wasn't having I was if it was a particularly good week for me when he made the offer, so I didn't do some of my checks. Uh, so wasn't very smart of me. Anyway, here's let me tell you the story so that you may learn from it and not do the same things that I did. So it all began with the guy offering to me a bunch of new uh, Nerf rival guns, which we can't get here in Malaysia yet so basically I just asked him the usual questions like where did he get it and yeah he said just bought it from Amazon okay I didn't I wasn't I wasn't too suspicious at this time because he actually had been commenting on my channel for a few for about a month and or more so I, I didn't care too much about that and uh, of course I arranged for I was arranged, gonna arrange for a COD so I'm gonna pay him after I actually see him instead of transferring money to his account and asking him to post it to me so I, I agree I was a bit uh, I lowered my guard a bit <clears throat> not my typical typical uh, on the Typical suspicious person, suspicious self, I must say. So anyway, the day came. I I made. Uh, I decided. I told him I'll meet up with him in one Utama, a shopping mall here in Malaysia, and I'll meet him in a Starbucks. So it's a very public place. Not much chance for any any uh, things to happen. And when it came to the day. And I told him I have reached already. This was about 1 p.m. And then the guy says that he is going there now. Seriously. Now. I reached at 1 p.m. and our appointment was at 1 p.m. And then he tells me that he's going there now. So okay, I thought maybe he stays nearby. Or maybe his office is nearby. That's why he can probably get here in like in five minutes or something. Okay, fine. Okay, I told so he tells me so he says that ask me that confirm that I'm waiting at Starbucks. Yeah, fine. I told him I'm waiting at the Owing ground floor. One. Now this is gonna be an important fact when it comes later. So he says he's on his way. And then at 1.30 p.m. he tells me he is here which is like what the hell because I didn't see him because I knew that the guns are very big I that's why there's no way I can miss someone carrying those those boxes so he goes and tells me yeah I'm in green sh I'm in a green shirt with red shorts so okay, I mean it's not a big Starbucks. So basically, I basically ask him, "What do you see outside Starbucks?" And then I was like, "Hey, wait a second! How many Starbucks is in one Utama?" There's actually two, but we'll get to that. So I told him I'll check a directory, and I'm the one near Garrett's. Now this is an important thing: saying Garrett's, and he immediately associates it with Garrett's popcorn. He says. He is actually near the one with Garrett's popcorn, which is interesting because again, I don't see him, cause I I actually went to the Garrett's and I still didn't see him and I and I pointed out the obvious fact which is like, you're carrying a bag of stuff. There's no reason why I won't be able to see you. Yup, I am carrying a blue IKEA bag. Right, I don't see anyone here with that. So okay, at this point I had a I was a bit suspicious, but I was willing to give him the benefit of the doubt because remember there are two Starbucks in one Utama. So I told him, okay, 
take a picture of your immediate surroundings and I will get back to you. And he sends me this. Okay. So uh, before this, he actually asked, he says that he was going to ask, talk to a staff and see whether he saw a person in a black shirt. Which is ridiculous because, come on, everyone wears a black shirt. So I told him just take a goddamn picture because it has been it was about 15 minutes since I told him to take a picture and he still couldn't give me a picture. I, my suspicion meter was really, really raising at this point. So then he sends me this. Okay, fine. Upon seeing the picture, I realized the problem. Okay. See, remember the fact that I told him I was going to meet up with him in the Starbucks in the old wing. Now this is because here we have the one Utama building, one Utama shopping mall. And I was here where this blue arrow is pointing. This is where the Starbucks in the old wing is. And he just sent me a picture of the Starbucks here in the new wing. Now the other thing to point out is that this Starbucks is actually on the first floor, not the ground floor. So I always ask him, dude, are you sure that's the ground floor? And he actually tells me yes, which is ridiculous. So I said, that's not the ground floor. And he says, well, I guess not, because I'm still at the ground floor. <laughs> Which, uh, I'm like, that, that's something extremely wrong here. And so I told him, okay, just send me another picture of what you're looking at right now. Because I wanted to just confirm what he's doing. So again, after an inexplicably wrong time for taking a picture of a place where you're looking at, he sends me this picture. That, and at this point, when I looked at this picture, I immediately realized that I have been punked. Okay, at this point, I immediately realized that I've been punked. So let's see why. Look at, take a close look at this picture. I'm gonna count to five, and I'm gonna shift back to the older picture. So one, two, three, four. Five. This is the picture. These are the two pictures placed together. Now, can you see the problem? Okay. Let me tell you the first thing that immediately made me go, "What the hell?" This second picture. Why is there an Instagram filter on it? And then, if you look closely, uh, and then. The other things, if we look closely, is that take a look at this shelf here and this part here. You can see that it's obviously different. And then, if we look at the drinks in the freezer cabinet, and God, just look at the whole freezer cabinet to begin with. These are two different pictures. So, obviously, what the guy has been doing is. He's been googling images of the Starbucks one Utama and then he's sending it to me. So at this point, I realized that this guy is punking me. So I, so I told him, look, look, dude. He, so he was doing all the thing like, okay, I'm going to shout your name and see if you realize. I said, okay, what the hell? I don't give a damn. Go ahead. And I, and I actually sent him back the picture of what I was actually seeing and I actually told him, dude, you punked me, fine. And he actually still tried to say that if he can't find each other, I'm afraid I need to go now. Screw you, you're the one that came late and you still say you need to go now. So I actually said, okay, yeah, I hope you're happy with yourself. And still, it seems like he doesn't get the sarcasm in my voice that I told him, I know you've been pranking me. And he tells me, okay then, no rivals for you. Dude, I already know you punked me. That's definitely not, I'm definitely not getting my guns. So I try to make him see that, dude, I know your picture don't match. And then he says, 
we had a different one. It's like, what the hell? There's no different one to be there. Fine. I, I at this point I was just giving up ready. And he's still saying like, well, I could just mail it to you. That would mean I need to mail him money first before he sent it to me. Which is like, no way was that going to happen. And he's like, dude, I'm sorry, but I tried my best. My best. Screw you. <clears throat> okay. And then it makes me feel, and then he actually makes me feel like uh, he, he's sad and he says like, oh, I'm sorry you can delete me now. And I tell him, okay, it's fine. I learned something from this. I learned something from this. So good for you. And he asked me, learn what? Well, he never found out what because this was the last message I sent him. <clears throat> but then, at the end of this, at around 6.30 on the same day, he actually said, Taha, you know you just got, you just got pranked. I didn't even have them. Dude, if... If you even if you had any but if you use as much effort as pranking me as you did in reading my messages you have realized that I already knew you pranked me okay so that was me being pranked now here are a few here are a few guides to help you to remind you not to help you not get pranked on the internet first of all while there are good people on the internet there are definitely bad people on the internet so remember you need to always be on your guard if you're going to get something from another person if someone says I'm gonna give you something for free or I'm gonna let you buy I'm gonna I can sell it to you for a cheap price always be on your guard especially if it's someone that you have never ever ever met face to face that's very risky no matter even if you actually chatted with them or whatever they did you must always be on your guard a good way to be on your guard is of course never send them any money or any of your personal information I was lucky this time because I never actually I didn't actually other than my uh, Google Hangout ID, he didn't get my phone number or any other information. So, well, glad, glad that was that. Then, a good thing to remember is that, which is something that I totally forgot because I was actually a bit busy, is that you need to always ask for evidence if you're buying something from someone. So, th this is either like you could if they are selling something to you, you tell them, I need to see a picture of it with your face doing the peace sign or your fingers contorting to some weird, weird uh, position or something. And of course, if you're meeting with them somewhere, ask them to take a picture of where they are. The thing here is, everyone has a smartphone now, everyone has a camera on their phone. There's no reason why you couldn't just, uh, why if you don't know where you are, you either can't just take a picture of where you are or you can't just open up your map application and tell you send me a location of where you are there is no reason why someone can't do that okay so be very vigilant about it and always ask for evidence of everything and remember always be safe nothing is worth risking your your safety if you're gonna meet up somewhere meet up somewhere public if you're going to, if you're going to like, uh, well, I guess in the meeting up is the, the most important part. Don't meet up in a back alley or in any of uh, any any place that's considered seedy and not safe. So don't do that. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. So these are some of the most these are a few uh, a few of the more important rules when you're dealing with like stuff on the internet. And okay, so. That was my little story of being scammed. I guess I guess I won't call it being scammed since I didn't 
I didn't lose any money other than I didn't lose any money. I just wasted some time getting to World Dharma and of course uh, lost some of my uh, loss. Uh, <laughs> I'm a bit disappointed in myself that I got pranked like this. So, uh, but again, uh, all, I, all I lost was just some time and dignity. So, yeah, I, I came out okay. So, anyway, I hope you learned something from this little story. And be safe out there on the internet. I will see you all in the next video.